seemingly minor traffic maneuver ends with a young female motorist being fired upon and struck. Fortunately, that woman was able to walk away from the Midtown Atlanta incident, even though a total of 17 rounds were fired at her vehicle. A former APD officer says he's not surprised given the increase in road rage encounters. Fox Eyes More Stiggs looks at what you may be able to do to avoid these dangerous situations. So many shots were fired at this young woman's car. There may have been a little she could do to try to avoid it in the middle of it. But I talked to a former officer who says there may have been something she could have done on the front end to avoid the worst of it. Four of the nine rounds striking a young woman's car over the weekend. Somehow the motorist escaped serious injury when gunfire erupted apparent road rage. The 24-year-old driver hit in the shoulder. It just went in and came out. That's the good thing. But just imagine the psychological effect that's going to have on her. I spoke to Oric Curry about a trend that's on the uptick since he retired from the APD. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Uh, because that person uh, is mad or upset about something, and they're looking at someone to take it out on. Police used flashlights to collect a total of 17 shell casings. The woman reported a vehicle came up behind her abruptly on Peachtree. She moved over one lane. That single maneuver inexplicably drew an angry response. What does the retired officer make of a gunman firing 17 times? This is someone who had some intentions of causing bodily harm. In a traffic situation not as extreme as this one, Curry says there are things a driver can do if, say, they are the cause of what may seem to be an abrupt action. Make sure you use your signal. You know, throw your hands up like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, you know, just just say some things or, or draw a gesture that shows that it wasn't intentional and you're sorry. The former APD cop, who's also an instructor, says other motorists, if they encounter a situation like this, the thing to do, quickly call 911. From Midtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.